Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review is a mouth to lung tank from Kasulu called the Artemis. The Artemis mouth to lung RTA. And here it is on my Ultrona from a Smothers that you watch the review, the EOS 2. And this is the tank. This tank is not for the faint hearted. That I can tell you as much. I've been vaping this now for a few days. But if you're willing to persevere with its quirks, the main issue is with this that the deck screws onto the tank um, clock, uh, anti clockwise, and the base to change your air pin as the 510 is clockwise and that can cause major problems because if you secure this tank too much you end up unscrewing it from the, from the deck from the base itself you'll understand more when we go below and i'll show you my build and wick um, you'll understand the system of this tank but one thing I can tell you, the flavor from this is su supreme. And this mouthpiece, you might love it, you might hate it. I love it. It's comfortable. And it's different. I just like it. I just, I, I just like this whole design. Um, but the flavor is awesome. I mean, we'll talk about it. You know, we'll talk about it after the build and wick, and then we'll talk about it a bit more. So let me put you through down to the build section so you'll understand more what I'm talking about about how this system works. See you in a second. Right, so I finally got my hands on this mouth to long RTA. Artemis, Artemis from Cthulhu, mouth to long RTA. Um, got it from China. A bit damaged, but lucky this is a tin, not carton, so it protected the, the tank. So let's have a look what you get inside. O-rings, a few air pins that we'll go through in a minute, and some screws. Free um, as a warranty, and how to do your air pins that we'll talk as well in a minute. Screwdriver, and the tank itself. And in the back of the tin, um it's and i get a spare glass as well autumn and a spare mouthpiece that for some people this is going to be very crucial indeed i actually looking forward to vape on this type of mouthpiece but if you want you can change it to conventional yep okay um in the back over here it gives you the whole um, list of airflow on the ring and on the pins that we put in the deck that we'll go through in a minute uh, it goes from one millimeter the air pins go from one millimeter to two millimeters and the airflow itself is from 0 0.8 to 2.7 if you take out the pin but we'll go through that soon any case right so let's go through the tank there's a few components in this tank so what i'm going to do is we're going to take it apart completely and we'll go through them so this is the top cap for your juice quite large juice intakes then you've got another section that takes off the chimney and reveals the deck and the deck is a classic deck raised deck so you can see 
uh, where you put in your cotton it goes right through the juice accumulates here in the bottom here on the deck itself your cotton would absorb the liquid and bring it to the coil you got two nice posts here and this is the air pin that connects to the 510 and I'll show you how that's done now the tank itself um, is anti-clockwise yep but the section where the base is for you to change the airflow and the, and the air pin is cl is clockwise so you have to be aware of that but we'll go through it again soon so here's your base and this is a simply a ring the airflow ring is on the top here and you got the airflow hole inside you can see it right over here and then you've got the holes on the ring itself very hard to see in black but we'll see it soon when it's already on the deck you can see it uh, to choose your airflow so it's f highly configured now this was the base this is your 510 and you can see it protrudes right through between the coils between the post I mean yeah and this is the pin so you unscrew this pin now this pin is the 1.4 millimeter and you've got in here another three exactly the same as this but in different sizes and the sizes in there is if i've got the 1.4 inside here you'll see the one this got the one point one millimeter and uh, this is the one millimeter you can see it here i don't want to lose it it's no point taking them out so i'm not going to use it and then you've got inside uh, 1.8 and two millimeters now if you kept this without no pin at all it's a 2.7 a 2.7 uh, millimeter but I'm going to use the 1.4 so like this I get a nice mouse to long draw but I can tighten it further if I want through the external airflow ring that makes most most sense so you, what you do is you just put it back into the base and you can see it protruding here between the post and just put back the base where the airflow ring is on and remember that this goes the opposite direction of the tank so this to secure it is anti-clockwise um, so it's a it can be a bit confusing um, but if you get if you if you, you know you have to keep your wits about till you get used to it okay and uh, let me just finish off with this so this I think this is a form a plastic snow glass this clips in to the chimney uh, holds in so this is your chimney quite nice domed all nice machinery here uh, this is quite beefy this section here so you just clip it in just clicks in and that is this section here so you get a spare one as well okay let's build the deck it's fairly easy to build um, we'll use their screwdriver and we'll use uh, a one ohm coil from nature vape you can see which coil I'm using these are very good coils and it's a core Clapton coil right 
Okay, so you simply let's see if we can get it legs down and coil up. This is a two and a half millimeter in diameter. See, because the depth is quite small, it's advisable to use a coiling tool to hold your coil in place while you work on the deck. The coil, the post, a bit offset each other. Uh, I'll show you in a minute when I uh, finish doing this. Okay, let me tighten this down so like this I can work this way because it's quite a small deck I must say. Not the, not the easiest deck to work on. It's quite fiddly. Okay, let's open this screw now. Okay. Nope, I'm in camera. Very fiddly. See, they're not opposite each other, the post. That is the problem. I'll show you when I finish doing the coil. See the the posts are not are not exactly opposite each other. So and this coil is a fairly beefy coil. Uh, although it's two and a half millimeter, but still it's it's quite a decent sized coil. And this deck is fairly small. So you need to get it in. Uh, that's it. It's in now. It's in. Okay, so let me now straighten out this coil. It's completely twisted. Right, we're getting there. You see here, you come to the the anti clock you know with the one is clockwise ones anti-clockwise I'll show you soon what I mean it's a bit um, it can be a bit of a confusing situation where both turn a difference one's clockwise one is anti-clockwise um, yeah so this is the coil it should be this way right over the o-ring and air hole let me lower it a bit more okay I just tighten this fully okay let's cut the leads Uh, 
And now you see what I mean. You see this, this, the deck itself screws in anti-clockwise to the base. If I tighten this fully, you'll see what I mean. It's, it's a bit confusing. You see, this tightens anti-clockwise to the base, right? Now, when I connect this as if it was my mod, yeah, and I tighten this fully, you have to be careful not to turn this bit, because if you turn this bit, you undo this, <laughs> you understand? So, you see, the whole pin comes off. So you have to you have to be aware of that and to treat this with uh, you see in the minute I over tighten this bit it starts to undo the the whole tank so you have to be aware of it right let's let's give this a pulse. Nicely done. Make sure there's no hot spots. Perfect. Let's see what ohms. Yeah, one zero one ohm. That's what it's meant to be. One ohm coil. Okay, let's work it. So have you seen that the deck is a fairly small deck, and this is a quite a, a well. It's a two and a half. A millimeter but it's still quite a decent size coil and this deck is a very small deck you can see yourself it's quite a small deck so the coil needs to fit so you, you need to fiddle a bit to get it in but as soon as you get it in it would find its shape so you can see that the legs are a bit twisted but you want to get in a decent coil in here you don't want um, okay let me just straighten this out a little bit. I mean, it doesn't matter that your coil looks uh, twisted when you when you tighten the screws because you could always um, straighten it out with your coiling rods. It's perfectly straight now. Yeah, and it's just above the airflow. Okay. okay this is perfect you can see there is resistance but not too much of a resistance yeah and now to cut it we need to judge it by you want it to touch more or less the deck so what you do is you bend your cotton down to the deck and then you cut by the dent Make sure it fits all right. Yeah. And then we'll do the other side. Yeah, I think I'll cut it just a bit more here. All right. And just see, do we need to thin this out? Yeah, I think so. Just to thin it out just a little bit because the juice port, the, where you put your wick in is quite small. This is a quite small of a deck actually. But apparently the flavor is amazing on this tank. So after a while you get used to this clockwise anti-clockwise um, and you just keep an eye on it not to do it the other way around i'm sure you'll learn the first time when you've done it wrong or your whole juice has come out uh, you wouldn't do that a mistake again
and you just feed your cotton down those little grooves and you'll see it's it's very similar to many other tanks um, the Inakin Eris, the most classic example it's the raised deck style and if you can watch, if you want to watch my review on the wicking tutorial there I show you these style decks as well so you see them all, you see, you see one, you see them all so that's the way it should look like you see your cotton sticking out from underneath this ring the threading that your chimney is threaded on and it will absorb the juice that comes down to the deck both sides and that's it that's the way it is yeah just make sure you don't stuff it down too much should be just right Okay, the juice we're going to use today is the Brightleaf Virginia Fluky or Sweet from Juice Cavern because I vape this, I'm vaping this now on my uh, Pioneer and I want to see the flavor and it's the same coil I've got, the one ohm coil, uh, the Core Clapton I've got in this tank as well. I want to see the difference in flavor, if there is a difference. So that's why I'm choosing this juice. Just give this a bit of a moistening. And let's take it off and mount it into the tank. I normally put um, VG in the chimney threading just to make sure that in future reference, future um, when I want to re-wick, I don't have a problem. It's not over tight, so I always put a bit of VG. And now you will see what I mean. So I am screwing back the base. Now it comes to a point where you have to stop. Otherwise, if you carry on, what happens is, now you can see the airflow better, what happens is, if you carry on, you're ending up unscrewing your base, where the pin is. So, this is something that, the question is if you're willing to pay the price. I will let you know after using this for a while, so you have to always hold your fingers here, and here and now it's tight and not to overdo it because if you over tighten this one you will end up watch this I'm over tightening the airflow anti-clockwise and you end up undoing your whole yeah your juice is gone so <laughs> this is a tank for those who don't mind a bit of um, you know don't, I wouldn't say um, I wouldn't say it's a major issue but it's something that you can't you can't just fill up your tank you know you can't you have to give it some thought until you actually get used to it um, you know that's that's basically it Right, we'll use this mouthpiece. And I've got a mod in mind for this. I just want to get the airflow. So again, you have to hold this section uh, when you turn your airflow. And find your preference. I mean, you can see it's quite, it goes up. You see, you got it here, the list from 0.8 to 2.7 millimeters so the biggest one is 2.7 the smallest one is 0 0.8 oh yes yeah, quite tight now but you have to keep an eye on it because the minute you do it too much it will start unscrewing the base so you need 
you need to keep your wits that's that's all I'm saying okay so this is the biggest one this is the second down third down fourth down we'll do the fourth down so for now I'm going to use this mod here just give this a vape now when you tighten up your tank to your mod do not over tighten it because the minute you over tighten it you're going to start undoing your the whole section here yeah um let's have a look zero point let's see what almost comes up to as Okay, now it's 999. Uh, that's that's what I wanted to get to. New coil. So I do the plus, and it comes at 0 0.98. Uh, yeah, more or less a one ohm coil. Let's give this a vape. The airflow is, the flavor is delicious, but the airflow is a bit airy. I need it a bit tighter. Um, I need it a bit tighter. So, let me take off the tank from the deck, from the mod. I don't want to risk. I think now it's okay. Let me tight, put back the tank. Old. Now it's gone to 0 0.99. Okay, one ohm coil. Hmm. Now the mouse. Now the airflow is much better. Now the problem is. Um, that my airflow is down to the bare minimum so maybe I should have used the smaller air pin and to see what kind of draw I'm getting on it so lucky enough you can do this while your tank is full so just you have to remember that you want to turn this um, um, clockwise yeah so what we do is we just turn this clockwise you have to remember that because otherwise you might have a problem so right so the tank is full of liquid I'm taking out this air pin this is the 1.4 and I'm putting in now the smallest one let's find the smallest one this is the smallest one you can see the difference between the two substantial difference so i'm going to use the smallest one and you simply put it back in tighten the base back remember to tighten it you have to press it to turn it um, see for a minute I forgot myself anti-clockwise one has to really think when you do this because otherwise you end up now it's tight okay so now I will move the airflow to the largest hole this is now on the largest hole of the key of the airflow on the ring yeah you can see here and let's see what kind of draw do I get 
And always remember, put it on the mod, leave it, because if you tight over tighten it, you'll end up undoing your tank. N old, let's put old. Now let's try. Now this is very tight. This is a very tight draw. Yep, this is a very tight draw on the biggest hole. You see, that's what happens when you put in the one millimeter. The um, I think it's the, the smallest one is the one millimeter. It makes this completely useless. Your airflow ring, because now it's on the biggest, and it's a very tight draw. Anyone who likes a tight draw would love this draw on the one millimeter. This is like a cigarette, a hundred percent. Really like a cigarette. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna use this tank now for a while and see how I get on with it. If I, hopefully I wouldn't, I'll get the hang of the clockwise and anti-clockwise and uh, we'll see how we get on. But I must tell you now, before I even complete this review, that the flavor on this is superb. But when I mean superb, I mean superb. Is it rivaling the Pioneer? I think so. The Pioneer is one of the best flavors RTAs of this year. And the same juice I've got in both. Same juice, same coil. And the flavor from this is absolutely phenomenal. Is it to do with the condensed chimney? Is it to do with the mouthpiece? Let's see if the other mouthpiece will taste the same. Yeah. This is a fairly comfortable mouthpiece because it goes like wide at the top, narrow on the bottom, so that your lips wrap around it but I like this look. I like something different. Um, yeah. Wow, what a flavor. Okay, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna vape this now for a while and you'll see me in a second, but I'll vape this now for a few days. Okay, see you soon. Right, so you've seen the build and wick. So you know now roughly how this system works. This tank, I've been vaping now for a few days. And I must tell you, if you're willing to persevere with this tank, meaning that you have to keep your wits about it. Now imagine this is, this is the mod, right? Now I'm tightening it onto the mod and I carry on turning it. Look what's going, look what's happening. You see, the base is unscrewing and exposing the 510 with the air piece, with the airflow piece at the back, at the front, at the top end, right? Like I showed you below. So now if I screw this back in, so you have to remember it's anti clockwise, you need to stop when you feel it is secure. That's it. Not to carry on, because if you carry on, you'll end up undoing this tank, this section, that is anti-clockwise. If you're willing to persevere with that, um, you get a, a, tr a, a, a reward of exceptional flavor. Is it the chimney? Is it the deck? Is it a small deck? You saw I have a, had a bit of trouble to fit in this coil. This is not a massive coil. On most of my RTAs, mouse too long, this fits in easy. No problem at all. On this deck, it was a bit fiddly because the coil itself was a bit too big. I had to bend the legs to get them in and then straighten it out with the coiling tool. And this is a two and a half millimeter. It's not it's not a massive coil at all. So this 
um, tank is for someone who is looking for unique looks. I mean, it does look different. Um, the other mouse piece is not f to me it's well it's quite comfortable to vape on but I just like the quirky look of this long one but um, it would look nice with this one as well but it loses a bit of its uniqueness I think with this but it's quite comfortable um, so I like I, p I prefer this one uh, I got a lot of questions about this tank since I used it outdoors and um, yeah yeah it's it's definitely looks a bit different and it looks quite good on this mod as well um, it's a shinier matte a black um, yeah it's a, it's it looks all right but the flavor from this is phenomenal now since the low section i changed the air pin from the one millimeter to the 1.4 because the one was tight like smoking a cigarette like i said below it was a bit too tight for me i put it on the 1.4 and my airflow is down to one before last if you can see the one before last so one before last is um is one point uh one point two millimeter so i've got a one point four millimeter uh, air piece that's as you've seen it goes into the 510 and um and the 1.2 on the ring you see all this is written here in the back of the tin um, I'll put it in the specifications below, but it's quite useful that you have it in the back of, of, the, of the tin. And I find the, the airflow perfect. Not too tight, not too, not too airy, perfect. In the Pioneer, I've got the same coil, the same liquid. And I must tell you, I like the Pioneer. On the Pioneer, I've got the airflow on, on full. It's completely open. And it's the same airflow as this one with, this, with the setup I just told you. You only have to do it once. You have to find your perfect airflow. But to change the air pin is fairly easy. You just hold this bottom section and turn the bottom piece, the deck, um, clockwise. And then you'll just pull out the pin. You can change your pin while the, f the tank is full. There's no problem at all. Yeah, I, I, I don't recommend this tank to everybody. Uh, because it's so easy to do a mistake by simply overturning the tank on a mod. I will show you how it looks on a side by side and then this long air piece, uh, um, mouse piece comes in very much into play. I'll put it on my ambition mods side by side. see when it comes to end don't turn further and it looks quite nice yeah looks quite nice but you have to be careful um, see lucky the airflow is on this side if it wasn't if it was inside it would have blocked it so this is perfect I haven't got battery in here, so I can't vape it on it. It's charging. Um, yeah, but even even on my, it will look nice on any mod, I suppose. But um, I'll just show you how it looks on the Gen Nano.
but you can get this in stainless steel. So if it was stainless steel, it would look very good on this, on this mod. Even on black, nice contrast, but in stainless steel, it would look even better. Um, I vape my Pioneer on this one. So I'm using this, this, normal, this mod I normally use with the Nest RDA that I reviewed, superb RDA. You can watch my review on that one as well. But I quite like it on this one as well. You see, uh, this is a dual battery um, on 16 watts and a mouse too long. It lasts me ages. So, to sum up this tank, uh, maybe I should go through some specs with you just before I finish this review. Um, let's go through some specs. Um, let's see. Okay, height 35 millimeters without this drip tip. Uh, 57 with, I'll put it below as well. 22 millimeter, so it'll fit any mod. Um, what else can I tell you? 2.4 mil capacity of liquid. Material 304 food grade steel. And I'll put below as well the airflow ring holes and the pin hole. So the airflow goes from 0 0.8 to 2.7. The air pin holes go from 1 to 2. 1, 1 1.4, 1 1.8, 2. If you take out the air pin completely, you will have a 2.7, but I think that will be, it's not, it's going to be too airy for mouse too long, that's for sure. Mine is on the 1.4. I tried the 1 millimeter. It was just, some people love it. It's like a cigarette, literally. For me, it's too tight. Um, and then if you put the 1 millimeter, this airflow ring is becomes redundant because the airflow is so tight even if you keep it on the biggest hole even if you keep it on the two uh, 2.7 it would not change much because the air the pin is very small hole i keep it at 1.4 so i have some kind of control um if i would have opened the airflow now you have to be very careful when you open when you turn the airflow ring you don't want to overdo it because then you might uh undo the deck so if I want to get it onto the biggest hole no see because it's black it's hard for me to tell okay now it's on the 2.7 and with the 1.4 pin I can do a restricted direct along even. Not really, no. No, this is a mouse to long tank in all tens of purposes. But it's a fairly airy mouse to long. If I reduce it, let's see. But you have to be very gentle. Because if you turn it too much, you'll end up undoing it. I'm going now down two holes. Still a bit airy. I'll go down now to one before last. This is really, uh, for me, a very nice mouse to long draw. Look, the flavor from this is absolutely stunning. A is it better than the Pioneer? I would not say it's better, but it's just as good as the Pioneer. Some people might say it's even better than the Pioneer. I, I have the both juices in here. Same style airflow now. Definitely not. I would say it's more or less the same i think there might be an edge over on this cthulhu one and the um, what's it called again uh, artemis not sure i taste them both very defined i think these are equal on flavor 
and looks it depends on you what do you prefer both look different this this is a gorgeous tank i love this tank um, but this i like the quirkiness of it um, i just like the look of it and i like the flavor i like the draw the build quality is good um, you just have to never rush it with it always think what you're doing before you do it because otherwise you'll end up unscrewing the wrong section of the tank and something is going to go wrong if you over if you undo this one your whole juice will come uh, pouring out now i was very conscious of it but as soon as i fill up the tank uh, the only thing i got to do is open the the, the um, to put in juice the cap so that you just put your fingers here and you just turn and and that is it there's not not much to it that's easy yeah you just turn and open it but always bear in mind you got the the for the juice this section here and the tank is connected this plastic is connected to the top and then you've got the deck and then you've got the base um those who are used to kaifan the um, kfon prime uh you'll be a bit more used to it because in the k prime also you've got various sections those who are used to uh, less moving parts will find it more difficult to get used to it so it's horses for courses i i love this um i love the flavor i love everything about it but you need to remember those few rules remember one goes clockwise and the bottom goes i wrote i even wrote it down this goes anti-clockwise and the base goes clockwise so you have to remember if you over tighten this you'll end up opening this if you over tighten this you'll end up, uh, end up, uh, end up opening this one <laughs> so it's not for those who are in a rush but as soon as you fill up your liquid um that's it you don't touch it and you're getting superb flavor i find this mouthpiece very comfortable Okay, I think i um, done this review quite a long time already. Um, so, it's your decision. I, I enjoy it very much. You can get them today for a fairly good price um, on various websites, especially in China. Yeah, Google search it and you'll find where to buy it. Um, maybe in the comments I'll answer, but in the video I... Uh, can't give you all that information i can't put it in the description below the website but you can go to start off with so small and the like okay until the next review take care enjoy your vape bye bye for now